doppelgangers are people who bear a strikingly similar appearance to someone else. This can be celebrity lookalikes, family resemblances and just the coincidence of two people looking remarkably alike. This phenomena can however go beyond appearance and be seen in other areas of people's lives. Is this strange phenomena something natural or could it be a paranormal occurrence? Let's take a look at the unusual case of the multiple Madelines. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. This mystery gets its start in the year 2004 when a woman chose to move back to her native country of France. When she arrived to begin her retirement she discovered that she was already living in the country and claiming a pension. This weird story begins in 1924 with the birth of Madeleine. Born into a rural French community this sleepy Gaelic village would not be the place many would think that a mystery such as this would spring from. But on that day in 1924 there was more than one Madeleine born. Growing up in the quiet French countryside this lady had a life which was unexceptional. She eventually married and moved away with her new husband to Algeria. She lived there until her husband's passing. This sad event saw her deciding to return to her country of birth. She traveled back to her home in the year 2000. When she entered her home she needed to set about getting her life back in order. First letting the authorities know that she had returned and registering for her new ID card. And this is when the weirdness begins. Upon her details being entered into the government system it revealed that Madeleine Pauline Helene Moray was already claiming her pension from the state and was on record as living in Saint Etienne for the past two decades. Initially of course the police suspected a simple case of identity theft. This was until they investigated the case and found more than a few anomalies. In a bid to solve the mystery of two people being on record as one, in 2006 detective arranged for the two women to meet face to face. This in the hopes that one or the other would panic or make a slip up and reveal their deception. Instead things took a further turn for the unbelievable. As the telegraph reported at the time Madeline 1 and Madeline 2 stuck to their stories adamantly. Apparently this was not some sort of fraud. Police thought that they had uncovered the scam artists after discovering that Madeline 1 had once tried to commit fraud. The investigation revealed that both ladies easily reeled off the details of their birth and lives and each did this separately from the other and they both produced a range of documentation from birth certificates to pay slips proving their claims. This is when the police had to conclude that not only were both women Madeleine Moray, they were the same Madeleine Moray. The lives of these two women were almost identical. Both had the same parents. Both were given up by these parents. Both went into foster care. As far as anyone in the bureaucratic machine was concerned, these women were one in the same. To solve this dilemma, DNA was used. The brother, Rene Moray, gave a sample that was then matched to samples provided by the two women. There was a match, Madeline won, the lady arriving into the country from Algiers. But in another strange twist it was discovered that the two knew each other prior to this meeting in 2006, but neither of them had any memory of it. How was this discovered? A picture of Madeline one had been taken at an orphanage in Orléans many years ago sitting next to her in the shot. You guessed it, Madeline too. The woman agreed that the photograph was genuine 
and that it was definitely the both of them in it. But neither of them had memory of taking the picture or meeting one another. So what is going on with this extreme doppelganger case? Is this just the result of the longest most impractical con of all time or is there something much much stranger at work? Could this be a glitch in the matrix or are they simply long lost sisters? Although if the latter were true it would have been picked up by the DNA test. What do you think was going on with this doppelganger story? Have you got your own doppelganger? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching we are if. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.